Hi guys, Amber here for Talk To Me Tuesday for Tuesday, January 31st, 2017. It's been a busy couple of weeks and I've really got to stop filming every other week. I got to do it every week because it causes me to tell you a lot of long rambly stories um, that you would get broken up rather than getting them all at once. So, um, what's happened to me in the last couple of weeks, um, I did finish a couple stitches for Goblin King. Uh, you guys can see one tonight. You can't see anything else. So, I've got the worm done. And he turned out pretty darn good. Um, I haven't taken the sulky off yet because, like I said, I've got a couple other in progress. And I'd rather just take it all off at once. So, there's that. Um, tomorrow morning, I hope to do some more sewing work on, um, Paper Piecing Vintage, get a little ahead of that. I don't remember if I showed you guys Come Fly With Me. I don't think I did. If it was two weeks ago that I filmed and not last week, then I haven't shown it to you. If I haven't, leave a note in the comments and I will show it to you guys next week. Um, what else? This week is really busy for me and part of the reason I didn't film last week was um, we're gearing up for um, the rest of the week. we got a couple of Harry Potter programs going on at the library and since I'm the Harry Potter nerd at the library, I'm kind of involved in all of them and we're getting down to the wire. In fact, just this week, dumb ass me, opened my big fat mouth and um, gave myself two new projects. Um, one of which is I am now doing some, for lack of a better term, scrapbooking at the library. Um, we had a position that somebody left a couple years ago and they used to keep up the library scrapbook and nobody has done it since because my boss didn't know who to give the job to, um, was going to give it to the next person who applied and we haven't been able to open the position. So I am reading newspaper from two years ago trying to find event, um, events and information that pertain to the library and also events and information that were big in Peoria so that um, we have those for our vertical file. I know. It's all Greek to you guys. Don't worry about it. But it means I'm doing a lot more at work. Then the other thing is with all this Harry Potter program thing I'm doing. Uh, one program is tomorrow night. It's a trivia night. I'm not actually in charge of that one but a good friend of mine is and I'm going as a co-host. So I will be uh, doing that uh, tomorrow night. Then Thursday night we are having a Harry Potter book night party uh, where we're taking over one of our locations that's usually closed for the night or closed for the day. Um, and we're going to have some Harry Potter related things. In fact, my Project of Doom is going to the event uh, to be shown off and everything. I'm also taking my Harry Potter Pops collection because um, it's Harry Potter. Then, not only that, I will be taking a good portion of my Harry Potter foreign edition collection. Um, I don't know if you guys know that I have a decent size uh, foreign edition collection. I think it's three shelves now. Um, I have about 30 copies of book one in various languages. Um, I, of course, have all the American editions. I think I have two or three different British version of book one editions. I have a couple of French ones. I have a Canadian one. I have um, a couple of German ones, a couple different Spanish, maybe a Portuguese. I can't quite remember if I have Portuguese. Um, I have Polish, Russian, <clears throat> several Asian languages, um, Arabic, Urdu, Ukrainian, few others. I think I have Italian, um, Hungarian, a lot of Slavic languages, so like Czech and Croatian. Um, so they're, they're really quite fascinating to me. Um, I might, if I remember, because I probably won't put them away yet, I might show you a few next week because the covers are really fascinating on some of them. Um, so I really love to collect those. I used to have a lot of friends who traveled out of the country and so they would bring me a copy of book one from the country they went to if I had if I didn't have that one yet. Um, so anyway, um, so those will be going with me. And hopefully after this week, that'll calm down. 
Then I get to gear up for um, National Genealogy Day, which is actually in March, but my library is hosting it in April because March just wasn't going to work as far as scheduling is. So I'm working on some stuff for that, and one of the things I'm working on is um, I got it into my head to do like a genealogy book on my family. Um, it's only for my mom's side because that's the side that's interested. So um, I'm collecting obituaries and census records and articles that I find and random trivia bits of information that I found over the last few years. I'm re-researching a lot of it so that I can cite it. Um, I'm going to include family stories uh, that we've heard over the years. I'm going to uh, include pictures that I have. And one of the things I'm going to do is um, I'm going to include the beginnings of family trees for all my mom's siblings-in-law. Uh, my mom is one of six kids and she's uh, actually number two of six kids. Um, all five of her siblings uh, have married. Um, my youngest aunt has actually married twice. Her first husband uh, tragically died in a car accident when her daughter was a year old and she was pregnant with her son. So they never really knew their father. Um, Jimmy not at all and uh, Jess I think was 13 months when her dad died so they don't have any memory so I'm looking up information on him but I've also included information on her second husband who she married um, like less than five years after um, her first husband died um, so I'm going to include that uh, because that's the man they know as their father um, I also have to include stuff on my other aunt's first husband uh, because he was the father of her children um, but that was not a good divorce so I gotta be careful with the information I include there so um, tomorrow I'm going to announce to my family at large that I'm going to work on this so that if they have any pictures or information that I don't currently have I can get that and start including it so that's kind of taking a little bit of my crafting time, but not as much as you would think. This is what I do when I cannot craft. So um, on my breaks at work, if I don't have my stitching with me, I can work on this. If um, I'm caught up with some work at the library or I've only got a few minutes, I can work on this. Um, it also helps me with working um, towards answering questions about publishing genealogy. So. That's all good. Then I'm also writing articles for the library. So the library has a couple of publications they put out monthly. I'm writing for there. I'm also writing for the Genealogy Society and I also belong to the Historical Society. So 2017 is um, roaring in and keeping me busy. Uh, yesterday mom and I celebrated her birthday. Um, we went out to dinner and I bought her a couple of things and um, we just had a really good day. So let's kind of hope I can coast for about a week and kind of catch my breath after all this Harry Potter stuff is over. Um, and then I can get up to do some more programming, more crafting, and get things done. That is my goal this year is to get things done. Um, so that's eight and a half minutes of me rambling. And I will talk to you guys hopefully next week and hopefully with more craft stuff. Bye.